Okay, it's, it's July 14th and we're in St. James United Church um, meeting with uh, John Reeves, uh, Peter Smith, and John Graham Pohl, and, um, and a fairly new um, writing cooperative. <laughs> um, I think there's a definite correlation between finding a creative outlet and your own mental health. Mm. Um, I don't really have any thing to say about it besides <laughs> I've been thinking about the concept. I haven't come to any conclusions, but I think it's um, the camaraderie of getting together and sharing ideas and knowing that your struggles are not entirely your own. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all a benefit, so mm -hmm. that's Excellent. what I have to offer. <laughs> I think writing is such a, a personal and private uh, activity because you're usually sitting in front of your your computer and, and typing the words out and to be able to come and to share with other people what you've created and what you're trying to create and to get their feedback and their their encouragement and inspiration and critique in the good way mm -hmm. it allows you to create in a better way mm -hmm. uh, and it never ceases to amaze me that our group we all write very different types of material and yet, hearing the other person's creation helps us create better um, and, and I think stimulates the creative process as well as gives us a better sense of who we are and what it is we want to say through our, our work. Hmm. Sounds like a healthy practice. I didn't know these folks really, other than who they were, before we started. And Anne Louise, I was absolutely the same. I certainly never met her before. But now we uh, know each other in a way that I think we would never share with the outside world for the reason that we've shared a lot of confidences. Mm -hmm. and I don't mean bearing our souls, you know, exactly, but almost, you know, so, so we really, because when you write, and when you talk about your read and then you talk about your writing, you really, I mean, really, whether you're writing uh, science fiction or, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. The fact is that uh, that, that it brings you closer uh, in a very, very good way. And we don't, I mean, frankly, I think we'd feel a great loyalty to each other, which is certainly about health and healing. I think we'd feel like, you know, we would go to each other's aid, actually. No, I mean, I never Absolutely. would have thought that. But I think we would. I think if there was something that came up, any one of us, we'd say, you know what? Or I hope that somebody would, if they would, we'd come to each other's memorial services. <laughs> I wish I'm likely to be the first. No, no. Well, from the actual therapeutic aspect of writing, and writing in company or reading in company. I think through what we're doing, we're helping each other to share parts of our souls and our yeah. spirits, yeah. and mm -hmm. and that is is so meaningful for myself as someone trying to express that part of myself through words mm. and I know I feel so much better personally when I hear what John and John and Anne Louise mm. have written and, mm. and how they're they're you know sharing this journey with me uh, oh gosh, yes. it's you know you feel like you have a community who are supporting you in something that as I said is sort of very personal very private and yet very public and very like I said an expression of, of who we are and, and what we hope, whether we're writing a memoir, whether we're writing about a, a specific subject, whether we're writing for children or whether we're writing something very serious or very silly, it's it's really uh, a very a personal self-expression that we do together as a group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Sounds like yeah. a there's something about a writing cooperative that it needs to be small in order to share those kinds of intimacies and. There also needs to be a level of trust. Because it's a very personal amount of sharing that you're doing. Mm. You're, you're taking experiences and expressions which are very personal and powerful to yourself. Mm. And when you're initially doing that, there's even the fear factor of, of having mm. to express that. And it's hard enough to do with the group that you trust. <laughs> yeah. But when you add the dynamics of someone that you don't have that bond and that connection to, yeah. It's that much harder, and I will say very clearly that being able to share with this group has made it simpler for me to to take things after I've shared them here and be able to share them with a group that I don't know in terms uh -huh. of a public experience. Uh -huh. 
and without this experience here, in terms of the the trust and the comfort and the safety. Yeah. Um, and it's not to say that whatever comes out of my mouth, they go, oh, that's beautiful, don't say anything differently. No, <laughs> this is the safe place where you're told, no, I don't know, I don't understand that, and this doesn't work. But that's, yeah. I think, for me, is the real joy of the group, to be able to, to have that really active, uh, engaged um, participation in what it is that I'm doing.